to Boys Customs. This Refreshing the Bonanza, this series that I'm starting, which you're going to watch the first episode right now, is actually way too much content to fit in one episode. So it's going to be kind of a several episode situation going on here that um, is just going to show me refreshing it, cleaning it up, putting the carpet in it, um, just whatever it's going to take to get it back on the road again. It's registered and licensed, um, but you know, I've got wheels, I've got tires, I've got carpet, I've got seat covers, I've got brakes, I've got bearings, I've got, um, you know, you name it, and all this stuff's got to go on the truck at some point, and there's just too much content to put it into one episode, or else I'd have three hours of, of footage. So, um, enjoy what you're seeing. Show you guys kind of what my plan is for today. Um, I've got this isopropyl alcohol. I read that it kills germs. <laughs> read somewhere that it kills germs. Maybe coronavirus germs. I don't know. This truck's not the cleanest. Um, I've had it for a few months now. And I have not uh, had the chance to clean it out. And when I did initially look at it, I didn't see anything crazy. Um, but I did buy a new carpet for it. Um, because the old carpet was pretty pretty dirty and pretty ratty. Um, but I did find some some uh, mousy uh, evidences. And so that's what this is for. I'm going to pull the seat right out. I'm going to spray it down, take all the garbage out, try to clean it up. Uh, possibly take the headliner out. The headliner's kind of fallen down. Maybe pick up some bearings. Um, I don't know if I'm going to get to all this today, honestly. Uh, I'm going to go out and try to clean it out, get my vacuum out, get my respirator on. Thanks for joining in on Boys Customs. This is my new to me, new to me truck. Um, 1980. Chevrolet C10. Oh, plates on it still. Um, saw her on the internet for I don't know uh, a couple three thousand dollars, and anyway, the guy kept dropping the price and then dropping the price, and I thought uh -huh. she looks kind of rusty, but. It's kind of the year and style that I like. I like the I like the square square body, um, the seventy three to eighty a little better. So I went and looked at her, and I thought, oh, she's she is rusty. She's kind of rusty. She's kind of got a lot of rust on her. And uh, anyway, she seems complete though. She seemed really complete. This is what I really liked. She's the Bonanza Edition 10. C10, two-wheel drive. Let me give you a quick walk around. She's, she's got the original rims. I have the original hubcaps for her. Um, she was purchased and was in the same family since new. And you can see this, which I thought was pretty cool. But, like I said, rusty, but but pretty well intact as far as a, an original type square body goes, you know. Yep, that's it. She uh, runs and drives, drove her home. Bonanza, original upholstery, which I don't know where you'd find any seat covers to get that recovered the same way. They don't make them like that anymore. Nice original mirrors, 
No holes in the doors. Those are kind of the things that I look for. No holes here. And no holes down there for a dumb stereo 6x9 or whatever cut out. The bumper is about perfect. The uh, the grill is, is broken. It looks like it took a little bit of a hit once upon a time. But you'll notice also that she's in 1980 and she's the square, square body, but she's got the square headlights, which I don't know if I'm super crazy about it, but it's growing on me. I usually like the round headlights. Really nice, straight, clean hood. Nice tailgate. All of this rust should clean up pretty good. Mind you, the, the bubbles won't go away, obviously, but some of the orange you can fix up pretty good with just some uh, barkeeper's friend, which I did to this side, and uh, she looks a lot better. We should pop the hood. Very happy with the color combination on this truck and the lack of hood fold on it. And I lubed the daylights out of those and so now she turns she up and down real free. When I got her, um, we had some evidence of some mouse and some little bit of seeds of sunflower seeds and things like that here and there. And uh, she was a 305, but somebody took that out and yeah, several years ago and put a good wrench 350. But they put the original two barrel intake and two barrel carburetor on it. But I am happy that I don't have to deal with a 305. And uh, anyway, uh, I did do a little bit of simple green in here just to get the dust off and stuff. But I needed to do like a real detail and a real clean in here. But that's it. That's the that's the bonanza. Okay. that that's a build sheet seats out um you can see all the 50 40 sorry 40 years of crap on here 
A um, little bit of house evidence. A little bit of poops here and there. Um, didn't really want to mess around with any of that stuff. This is is stuck on there, and I don't know. I'm gonna have to do a little investigating on that one. But she's got the six by nines. Scosh, scosh. I don't know, scosh. And the sparklematic five inch, four inch. I don't know. We'll throw them in the garbage, probably, most likely. And probably gonna throw out this original cardboard stuff. So, anyway, she's, she's getting there. I gotta take. Uh, I'm gonna take these out. These trim panels. Um, most of, mostly, what you have to worry about doing this is just breaking some of this, some of this stuff here. You know, those are expensive. You know, um, yeah, can get real expensive. So just be careful. Take your time and take it apart. All right, so. My phone died, and uh, I've been working on taking out the seat belts because there's new carpet going in here. All this stuff's going to be gone, needs to be moved. So, some of these are pretty tight. Swing it up out of the way for now. Go to the other side. Moved the seat belt that had a plug, had to unplug that and then swung it out of the way. All of the uh, seat belts are out now. And I just gotta focus on this trim right here. I wanna make sure I try not to strip these out. We've got a two piece, they're a little rough. Hopefully, I don't have to replace them. That costs more money. But I'm on a budget. taken out for me by the previous owner or somebody. Okay, so I'm starting to think that we can take the carpet out now. Oh, like this. Put it with the rest of the change. Basically, I'm just going to try to roll this up and try not to make a bunch of dust and crap in here, you know. Let's see what we can do. Okay, she's stuck around the dimmer switch. 
Okay. Next attempt to try to pull this carpet. Wow. Speaker cable used to be blue. Gold now. Just like that, I'm gonna go stick this where it belongs in the garbage. You can save the original dimmer switch. What is this? Surround? Something? Whatever. Okay. Um still need to do the dash. Much of the, they probably didn't catch much of this spraying stuff down, but I spray it down. I don't know what's been on here. I don't know what's going on. Let's spray it down and then pull this off and throw it in the garbage. with you. I was hoping for less cracks under it. But hopefully she'll clean up. She'll still clean up nice. Do a little rejuvenation. Rejuvenation? Rejuvenation. of dust and crap coming off of this thing basically deteriorating Okay, and then maybe try to pull this out and roll that up. The insulation stuff. And this is always not want to come out very easy. Oh, gross. Chevrolet light truck front floor camel. That's the color of the carpet. Hang on to that. So this should do wonders for the smell inside this cab. <laughs> I think it's going to help out greatly. There's a couple of screws and things hanging out under the carpet. Uh, maybe it's dropped before. One thing that I do like to see though is that there might be a little 
Russ maybe going to push through in the future, but for right now, it's pretty clean. So, yeah, pretty happy with it. Not sure about putting that cup holder back, but you gotta have a place to put your your, your sodas and your, you know. You don't want to be driving around with that spilled on your new carpet, or your original carpet, or your original interior. You know. Man. Okay, well, let's get back to it, I guess. I'm gonna spray this stuff down a little bit. bunch of I don't know if that's mouse poop or what over here on the front corner something gross just gonna have to get that grip you just don't know where they're hiding you know they go up here they go on the roof they go under here my 67 they pulled out the matting up here and made a nest behind it you just never know so Take precautions. Yeah, don't worry, we're going to come in here. Clean this up nice. Yeah, I guess we won't be moving that yet. I'm gonna pull this off. I think next step is uh get a vacuum in here. I'm gonna pull this off and just let it hang so that I can clean down in this this moisture trap right here and try to avoid any more rust and debris and issues and sh oh whew. yep there's some rust there uh put some rust converter on that later when we get it all cleaned up and stuff once we get all this chip shape and shiny then uh oh, you know i was talking about taking out the headliner too so, uh, well, there's no lack of stuff to do here. That's, I'll say that much. All right, vacuum cleaner. Chevrolet owner's manual, I tell you. I really like this truck. She's a keeper. Okay. Okay. What else is there to do? Well, a lot. Oh. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. How do you fix that? I'm going to have to fix that. Okay, a couple things. I um, think I need to go buy some Simple Green from Walmart. I just want to be honest with you guys, okay? This truck cost me $1,500. Put a couple hundred bucks into her, you know, with all this stuff. When I do, when I put a couple hundred bucks with all this stuff and the carpet and everything, she's going to be a nice driver. And there's no reason why young guys who want a truck um, can't just 
keep an eye out, save some searches on the marketplace or whatever here in Utah, KSL, classifieds are the best. Um, you can pick these trucks up, you know, relatively inexpensive. Some people think they're worth a million bucks. Um, 1500 bucks and then if I end up putting, I don't know, a thousand bucks in it um, and a bunch of elbow grease, then you know, 2,500 bucks and I've got a nice little driving classic truck and maybe, uh, maybe with that amount of money, I'm going to be able to lower it a couple of inches too. So, um, it is possible. You guys can do it. Um, yeah, it's rusty. It, it is a little rusty, but actually the floors are all there and everything. So I'm pretty happy with that. Um, little so find yourself a truck or a car or whatever you want. Um, Put some time and effort into it. Uh, you see all these nice cars at car shows, they don't get there just because they buy them like that. Well, some of them do. But most of them, you don't find that. So keep an eye out. That's what I did with this. I looked for specifically a 1980, and now I know, you know, I've got other projects and things to work on, but I was looking and just kind of thinking, oh, 1980 Chevy, that'll be nice. I should keep my eyes out for one. I really wanted a short bed. Who doesn't? I didn't get a short bed, but I got a Bonanza, which I feel like is maybe rare. I don't know. Um, the deal with the Bonanza package, it was some sort of uh, GM or Chevy did it with the Bonanza TV show back in the day. And they would just add a whole bunch of weird pieces of different trim packages and things so it's kind of a crapshoot of what you get the guy who I bought it from didn't didn't advertise it as a bonanza he uh, he advertised it just as a as a pickup and I kind of liked the look of it I went and looked at it um, made him an offer of 1500 bucks and he took it and so um, with a little bit of elbow grease and a little bit of work, you can find and you can you get a lot of stuff and you can have a lot of fun. Um, this is this is hopefully going to be one of my daily drivers. I'm kind of hoping, well, hoping that it'll be a daily driver um, once I fix the brakes and some other things. Um, should be a nice little runner. So anyway, that's about it. I'm going to go to Walmart. Instagram account boys customs um, You can guys can go on there and follow me and you can see some of the progress some of the things you didn't see in this video You can see some of my other projects and other things that are going on um, Yeah, I appreciate you guys watching and uh, Let me know what you think Unless you're gonna be a jerk about it then keep your opinions to yourself and uh, Have a good one. eh? we'll see you